Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megha Narang and in today's video I am going to show you how we can create top n and others in Tableau. Meaning here we see an example where we see top 10 states with highest sales versus others. Others include states that are not part of top n. This is using sample superstore data set. We will also go one step further and see how we can have top 10 states based on selected region. So here if I let's say if I select east, I'll be able to see top n or top 10 states based on the region that we have selected that is east. I can also change from 10 to just 5 states and I'll see the top 5 states where do they fall their percentage contribution and where does other states fall into east uh, region. So now let's get into it and we will start with the sample superstore data set that we have seen in the existing example. Here we have our sample superstore data and a new sheet. So the very first step that we need to do is to create a parameter. So we'll create a parameter for top n and let's have it as an integer. We'll define a range of minimum of 1 to let's keep it to 50. And that's how our parameter is created. The next step for us is to find state here. So state province field is available. Now what we will do is we will create a set from this field. So we will right click, go to create and here we will see set as an option. We will click on it and by default it will give me a name that is state that is state province set. I will just maybe name it as top n and here I'll go to top by field. We are not going by default 10, but we are just selecting the top n parameter that we have just now created. And by sales, and by default, it will be sub. So that's how we'll create our set that will carry the top n or whichever number we would want to select those states and province based on sales. Next step for us is to create a calculated field. Let's name it as state plus other. In this calculation we will check if top n if the state is in top n then we will take the name of the state else we will put it into others category and we will we'll create this calculation and then uh, uh, next step is to drag this calculation on rows and drag sales on let's just go and see what happened here okay let's see what the top n is show parameter so by default the value is 1 we'll change it to first from slider to type in and then let's uh, say we want to see top 10. Now we will see the top 10 states and if it's not in top 10 then it will be other. So the next step is let's convert this into bar chart through show me we can do that easily and let's sort it. Now uh, we have our top 10 states versus other 
I'll just make a few changes formatting changes show labels directly on our bars so we don't need this axis and then the next step is let's say we want to uh, easily identify all the top states uh, versus other one uh, step that we can do that is by just dragging this top end to colors and then we can see the easy segregation by color of top and state versus other. I can maybe rename it to top n for in and for out I'll alias it to other. Right. you can just change the color if you don't want the this top and you can maybe have a different color if you want or you can just keep the same color depending on you so that's how our top and uh, states versus other is created the next step for us is to have the percentages as well so I'll just create another calculation and here I'll say sum of sales divided by total sum of sales. Let me give it a name percent of sales. So what I'll do is uh, I'll drag this percent of sales in detail or maybe on label and I'll also drag sales on label because now we see that we uh, our sales is gone the numbers are gone and percentage is only available so I'll just drag the sales on detail first and convert it into label later now we can see we have both of them I'll just go and make some formatting changes. I'll want to have sales on sales first, sum of sales first, and percentages in bracket. And now we have our sales as well as percentage. Let's format it to percentage up to one decimal place. So we have the numbers as well as percentages. So that's how our first step is done. We have we see the top end states versus others. The colors have changed. The contribution is in numbers as well as in percentages. Now then uh, let's call this as top end and others states. Let's uh, go to our next step that is having regions as well and getting the states uh, as per regions as per the region that is selected so let's drag region on rows sales on table and again follow the same steps convert it into bar chart sort it um, you can use the same sales label and percent of sales label directly and follow the same formatting that we did for uh, our top end plus other states format it to percentage one does decimal place the entire view we may not need the headers because we have already added our labels we may not even need all the grid lines that's not required that can be removed so all this is part of formatting here also we don't need the grid lines 
so that's done let's call this sheet as regions now the next step is to bring both of these sheets on our dashboard regions first top and states next and here if we want we can keep it like this uh, top and separate but if let's say if you want to merge it into our your title one easy way to do it is just make it floating remove the uncheck the title and just change the size this also you can make it floating and this one here top space states and others you can uh, you can change the title as per your requirement if you want these states to be changed based on the region selected then you just select this sheet select this use as a filter option you can see that based on the region states get selected so now but these are not the correct numbers so what you have to do is to get the correct numbers is to go back to the sheet and add this action filter to context and once you do that now you'll have the correct numbers that is top n and other based on selected region so that's how you will be able to have your top n state and others and also if you want any category to be select to be included and subcategory to be selected based on that you can do that using this approach the example that i showed to you is available on my tableau public profile i am going to share the link to this dashboard on the description section in this video you can download this workbook from here and explore if you want to know more about this or if you want to use it in your projects and if you have any further questions please put it in the comment section below please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel see you soon thank you